Hello and welcome to another How To Grind video. Call me Manny and today we're going to be walking you through how to structure a 16 bar verse on top of a grind beat because we all want a good verse but you can't just stumble upon that. It's best if you have a plan that will help you get there. So today we're going to be discussing some of the things that you can do to ensure that you get a good well structured verse over a grime instrumental. The first thing that I really, really like to start with, if I can, is an idea or what is also known as a song concept. So the song concepts for this is uh, what I wrote down for my song concept was um, growing up in an English council estate, a more rougher estate, walking the listener through what one might feel and experience and see going through this. I also wrote some emotions down to help me get the ball rolling. So I wrote stuff like unfairness, claustrophobic, intent, anger, apathy, malice, greed, the feeling of wanting to get out and escape. And uh, those are just some of the emotions that I wrote. So I always like to start with this. I find that it turns a process that could take three hours or longer, you know, a long time if you don't really know where you're going, if you don't have a direction for your song and turns it into a 30 minute process. So it makes it a lot quicker, a lot shorter. So I suggest you start doing that as well. And I also wanted to note that I wanted to make this a more lyrical verse in terms of rhyme schemes. So two rhyme schemes that I kept in mind is I was going to keep a multi-syllable rhyme scheme at the end of each line, end of each bar, and an internal rhyme scheme. I was going to add some internal rhymes there. This is not strict. I didn't have to stick to this. It's just an important note that I want to make because I prefer to make my verses a little more lyrical in terms of rhyming. So this is something you might want to add into your verse and structure in, right? And I'm going to show you how to structure that and just stay tuned. And then the last thing is I picked an instrumental. Normally I'd pick the instrumental first and that's where I'd get my song concept and all of this. But I actually had this song concept going in. I, this is something I wanted to write about, of course. So I wrote all these things that I wrote down and then I picked an instrumental, made sure it matched the vibe that I wanted to have and it was a grime instrumental. This is the best way to ensure that your verse fits into 16 bars because obviously instrumentals have 16 bar verse sections incorporated into them and even if they don't, even if they only have an 8 bar verse section, you can combine two 8 bar verse sections and create a whole 16 bar verse section. So this is why it's important to write to a beat. And make sure you keep watching because as we go along, I'm going to reveal how to spice up your rhymes and make them even better as you're writing. So to begin with, I wrote about the earlier years of what someone growing up in this kind of environment might feel. And in the early years of your life, you go to school and growing up in this environment, you might not give a fuck about grades. So that was literally my first line that came to mind. Didn't give a fuck about grades, but I wanted to rhyme that. I wanted to kind of like have a setup to that. So my setup was, guess that I'm just stuck in my ways. I didn't give a fuck about grades. So I put that to the side of the page, uh, stuck in my ways, fuck about grades, because that now became my multi-syllable rhyme scheme at the end of the verse. So guess I'm just stuck in my ways, didn't give a fuck about grades. This is actually a verse that I used in my last video uh, as an example. I thought I'll use it as an example again in this video, break it down how I wrote it. But anyway, so that was the first two lines. Guess that I'm just stuck in my ways didn't give a fuck about grades. And from here, there's only three things that I'm keeping in mind. So the topic, growing up in a rough council, English council estate, ghetto type environment, the rhyme scheme, so multi-syllable rhyme scheme at the end, internals where I can add them in, and now also the syllable count. Why? Because this will help keep your verses tight. If uh, one line that you spit can fit into four bars and it's, let's say, eight syllables, then a general rule is if you keep the subsequent lines the same amount of syllables, eight, nine, seven, you know, just close to that number eight, it, they'll also fit and your verse will be a lot tighter all the way to the 16th line. So first verse is like eight syllables, second verse or seven, and I'm keeping this in mind just so I don't write a verse that goes over a syllable number. And then after that, I wrote something like, so it's guess that I'm just talking my ways, didn't give a fuck about grades just wanted to wake up in the blaze so want to wake up and you just light up a big joint and smoke up all day i'd rather do that than focus on grades and then the last line that i wrote in this first four bar section is fuck about grades so that brings me to another tip break your 16 bar into four bar sections so this first four bar section is just giving some background some background of what the mentality of a young youth 
growing up in this kind of environment might be that's it's an introductory four bars guess that i'm just talking my ways didn't give a fuck about grades just wanted to wake up and then blaze because the system's fucked it's a waste so the last line explained why the the kid thinks this way because the system is growing up into him looks fucked and it looks like a waste of resources everywhere right so that's the first four bar the next four bar i wanted to go into the behaviors of someone like this obviously i touched on some of the behaviors you just want to wake up and then please and i'm getting all this but it's from my song concept by the way if you're following what i'm saying so the next four bars will be about the behaviors and explaining why the behaviors are like this so for the first so for the fifth bar i want i wrote you wonder why youths hold up them zoots then move some bags of the haze and i just want to highlight there the internal rhyme so i didn't force it it just kind of fit so again it's not strict that you have to stick to your rhyme scheme or whatever it's just when you get the opportunity to add it in there so i had the opportunity to rhyme utes and zoots internally you wonder why utes roll up them zoots then move some bags of the haze and haze lines up with uh, with uh, my rhyme schemes of blaze grades you know the rhyme scheme that i had earlier bags of the haze it's not quite a multi it's not quite a multi-syllable but because i've got the internals in there i'm quite happy with that seventh line i wrote something like because most of us stuck on minimum wage so they so they sell sell weed sell all kinds of drugs in the streets because they're stuck on minimum wage they have no other option to make more money is basically the behaviors and explaining why the behaviors are like that and then i finished that four bar segment with fueled by a great resilient rage right so you wonder why you swallow up the zoots then move some bags of the haze because most of us stock on minimum wage fueled by a great resilient rage right so that explains some of the behaviors again it also explains why they behave that way so i'm just again going back to my song concept picking an aspect of that song concept that i can explain so first it's background mentality then behaviors and then it's why the mentality is this way and why the behaviors are this way so for the next four bar segment the 8 to 12 bar i wanted to explain the relationship a kid a youth going through this environment has with the law right so the first line that i put to continue my rhyme scheme of a uh, resilient rage and minimum wage is a man of the law they'll spit in his face right that's what i put so which is a metaphor for the disrespect police officers uh any kind of authority figures they don't like it because it's seen as an oppressive figure and then again spit in his face behavior explain why the behavior is this way because they claim that they help but they're out for themselves they just want to see you live in a cage so then again that explains the behavior and then the last line they just want to see you live in a cage explains the mentality and again I'm continuing the rhyme scheme here so i've got spit in his face i've got uh live in a cage minimum wage resilient rage and then help and selves is internal it rhymes in between that so in between spit in his face and live in a cage they claim that they help they're out for themselves they just want to see you live in a cage you can see all this in this on the screen i'm just explain over explaining just so you really really get it so they have added internals and i've added a multi-syllable rhyme scheme it's flowing well i'm not forcing anything i'm still getting my song concept across and this is what i was on about earlier when i told you i was going to tell you a trick to make your rhymes a bit better question the first rhyme that comes to your mind so don't just write down the first bar that comes to your head question it think is that what you want to get across is that what you really really want to put there if not what do you want to say what do you really really want to get across and how do you want to convey it that's all i've been doing so if that because that comes first priority than just the rhyme scheme or just the first rhyme that pops into your head and then from there you can continue your rhyme scheme and your internal rhymes where it fits and that's what i've done that's roughly 11 12 bars there and then for the last segment of the song i wanted to wrap up the first verse with uh, some of the things you might also see growing up in this environment just to fully wrap it up in a bow conclude it well so the first thing that i put was again alluding to the man of the law at the end of the day they're trying to get paid this is just highlighting that most of the time governments are trying to get paid they're looking after their profits as well schools are a business education is a business 
you've got corporate machines everywhere, everyone's trying to get paid, everyone's trying to get profit, including this young youth growing up in a rough English council estate. And then I highlight some of the emotions that observing this behavior might cause and uh, the line that I wrote to highlight that again, to add another internal rhyme scheme, like uh, switch the rhyme scheme a little bit. I put, and this is the shit I'm hating, which highlights the emotion. And then I rhymed shit I'm hating with the situation, which is a good connective word to carry on explaining the whole environment that the youth sees. This is the shit I'm hating, the situation. What is the situation is bad. So uh, I blow that out of proportion and I put it's sicker than AIDS. And this is the shit I'm hating, the situation is sicker than AIDS. And sicker than AIDS actually rhyme with live in a cage, minimum wage, resilient rage. It actually rhymes up with those previous rhymes that, uh, those previous multi-syllable rhymes that I wrote earlier. So I'm carrying on my rhyme scheme while explaining what I want to explain. And I've added another internal rhyme in there. It's rotten, again, talking about how it feels to see all these things. It's like they want you to stay at the bottom. Again, how it feels, it's like that. Just as long as they're winning the game. So people aren't afraid to pull you down and step on you to win the game. Okay, so this is the type of stuff that you might see in this environment. And before I wrote this, this is the edited version that I'm telling you that I'm making this video on. But before I wrote this, there was a bunch of Ill filler words. It was cause and they, I got rid of as many filler words as I can and added breaths in there. So when you're structuring in the 16 bar verse, it's important you leave room to breathe. And the best way to do that is get rid of filler words. Get rid of words like and, they, cause. Those words don't really need to be there. Sometimes even I get rid of that. Uh, for context, a listener will get it. They'll get what they're trying to say, what you're trying to say, especially in a 16 bar verse on the grind beat. Grand beat is very fast. If you don't have room to breathe and you miss one breath and it fucks up your next line, you can't say it properly, it's game over. So uh, leave room in there it's just for a quick breath while you're uh, spitting on grind beat. I've made this mistake a million times. Just get rid of the connective words that don't need to be there. It will also give you a lot more space to say what you're trying to say, less filler. And again, when you're writing down your rhyme scheme, um, don't think of a specific word, just think of the rhyme scheme. So I wanted a multi-syllable rhyme scheme and I wanted an internal rhyme scheme. In the end, the multi-syllables ended up being stuck in my ways, fuck about grades, up and then blaze, fucked it's a waste. Then it was minimum wage, resilient rage, spit in his face, live in a cage, sicker than AIDS, winning the game. And then the internals ended up being stuck, fuck, fucked up, utes, zoots, move, pays, help, selves, day, paid, situation, shit I'm heating, rotten, bottom, and you get the picture. So whatever first word that comes to mind to explain your situation, those are the words that you're going to stick with, with rhyming. And again, you don't have to stick to this. It's not strict. What you're trying to say is more important than, what, than the way you're rhyming. I just really like uh, lyrical verses. To finish all this off, you test this verse on top of a beat. Again, hopefully you wrote it to a beat. Test it, see if it fits into a 16 bar segment of the instrumental and there you have it, you have a 16 bar verse. A uh, bit of a long video, if you're still here, thank you very much. Respect. A big up to all my subscribers, this channel will not be here without you. And for anyone interested who's a beginner and wants to take their skills to the next level a lot faster, I've got a course, link is in the description, click on that link, it will take you to the course, watch it, do your thing. More tutorials like this, but more in depth, I actually teach you the implementation and the simple tips that will help you get there a lot quicker. And with all that being said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.